Okay, so now that we have learned several different tangle patterns, we are going to learn how to make the traditional Zentangle drawing, which is basically a small drawing, um, no particular size. Um, a lot of times original Zentangle drawings would be like a three inch square. We're gonna work on a four inch square um, in ink where you create a shape and then you fill that shape with different tangle patterns. And the idea is, is you get to be creative in that you have to fit your tangle patterns into the different spaces that you've made. Um, but it's also relaxing because these are tangle patterns you've already practiced. Um, you know how they work um, and you can kind of have fun with um, embellishing them and making them look interesting. So these are just a few examples of uh, my work, it's student work, um, and you can see a little bit of the different effects that can be made. So um, you start off with a card and you're going to draw a thin pencil line. You're going to divide your shape into smaller shapes and then you're going to fill them with your favorite tangles. Change the lighting a little bit so that you can see me working in pencil. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off with a small piece of paper. And with a pencil, you're going to put a point in each corner with your pencil. And then you're going to connect those four points with a line. And it can be like a straight line, a slightly curved line. Um, it can be real wild. It really doesn't matter. I mean, I like to get a little bit loopy just to give myself some challenges, but it could be something a little simpler and a little straighter. So an example would be something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be wild shapes. Then I'm going to divide my space in four. And you can do this however you want, or you could even have more sections. But I like to start with four, and I do this by um, drawing a big Z. So I'm going to start up at the top. I'm going to end down here, but I'm going to cross over here to the opposite side. I'm going to cross back to the first side, and I'm going to end here. And notice I just kind of drew straight over my lines. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just giving myself spaces, kind of random spaces. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, really, different spaces that I can add different tangle patterns to. So I could do my favorite four or five tangle patterns. I could repeat the same one here and here, but we're gonna do different tangles next to each other. So now it's just a matter of choosing my favorite tangles. So I've got a space. Um, let's say I'm gonna start with this space here just cause it's the easiest. And maybe I wanna start with my favorite, Fife. So you'll have to figure out how do I fit Fife into that wacky space? There's no one way. You just got to make it up. So I'm going to start with my grid and draw points wherever I think it would be. Those look about even. And I'm going to start working with my pattern. So when I get to the edges of my shape, you get to make the decision. Do I just stop drawing there or do I want to continue a little further? Do I not like it being cut off like that? I could finish the rice grains if I wanted to on the bottom. Um, I'm just going to stop at the edge. I think that's a good way to go. And I'm going to keep working on adding my pattern. So as I go through this, this tangle, with each section, I'm just going to pick one of the tangle patterns that I've practiced and learned. I'm going to go with my favorites. So, for example, my favorites are Fife and Woodgrain and Daggerly. The examples that I taught you are my favorite tangles. You may not have any of the ones that I taught you. You may have only tangle patterns that you have found on your own. It's up to you which tangle patterns you're going to pick, but you are going to pick your favorite at least four tangle patterns fill them in however you can think to fill them in, and that's going to be your finished Zentangle drawing. So an example, I filled in Fife. I used some rice grains to make sort of a border there. 
This one is called Betweed, if anyone wants to look that one up. Um, I, I'm not actually sure which, which all of these um, patterns are, but you can see I just picked different patterns for each different section. Here's a student example, a little bit bigger, but see their use of poke root and daggerly. Um, and they had like an extra space that they just kind of created an extra pattern. Um, it's up to you what you fit into those different sections. Um, but you can be a little creative and add on things, perfs, auras, extra patterns, um, and make it look really interesting. So good luck making your small Zentangle drawing.